you guys have some major economic development as in like partnerships as in leasing and having big companies one of them being virgin galactic i mean we hear that name we've seen stories of people getting on a spaceship but i mean what does that mean to the valley what does that um you know partnership bring to us here so the great thing about virgin galactic is it means jobs jobs here in the southeast valley uh, what Virgin Galactic, Virgin Galactic is gonna, going to continue to launch their space tourism from New Mexico. So we won't have spaceships launching from here, but they're going to do all of their manufacturing of their spaceships and the maintenance of their mothership here in Mesa. Uh, that means uh, uh, manufacturing jobs, uh, mechanics, and, and all of those things that come along with, uh, with that kind of activity. We're excited that, that Virgin Galactic has chosen Mesa as their, as their kind of place to to, uh, to, to build the spaceships um, and, and really the notoriety that that brings. It's a great economic development uh, coup that we, that we received and it adds to the growing list of, of really internationally known names like Gulfstream uh, and, and Zenergy coming and bringing their big manufacturing facility. Uh, we've got more announcements coming along the way. Uh, we're talking to prospective tenants uh, because the Southeast Valley and, and Gateway Airport around Gateway Airport really is kind of has become a magnet for uh, manufacturers and for high high wage jobs. So for somebody that's maybe not well versed on what Virgin Galactic is, um, and when we talk about spaceships, that's not a common word here, <laughs> and a mothership. Can you kind of break down what this manufacturing facility is here in the Valley? Right. When we go to parties and I talk about motherships and spaceships, people uh, kind of start to look at look at us weird. But uh, really, what Virgin does is is uh, they have a program where you have a mothership, a main uh, aircraft that uh, that takes uh, a spaceship connected to the bottom of it. It takes it up to space with space tourists inside. It releases it, uh, and and those those tourists get to experience weightlessness and and get to experience being in in outer space. And then it goes back and lands there in New Mexico. Uh, those spaceships will be manufactured here in, in Mesa. Um, they'll be maintained and they'll be looked over and and uh, and fixed if if anything ever uh, ever anything ever needs to be fixed. Um, and so we'll be a, a key part of that space tourism. Space tourism is kind of the kind of that next generation, that next frontier of of exciting things to do. And and Mesa is really excited to be a part of that. So the, the mothership, which is the main ship, will actually come in and out of the airport. You'll see it land here, um, and and it will uh, it will it will be in and out. You'll see it flying around. It's a it's a unique aircraft, um, and luckily our runways are we have three ten thousand foot runways, so we can handle any aircraft in the in the world. Um, we we very often have large cargo planes come in and out, uh, and so having the Virgin Galactic mothership, uh, Eve as she's called. Um, we'll just be one more, uh, one more unique kind of aircraft that, that comes and visits us here at Gateway. Now, just so I can wrap my head around, does that mean it's going to fly from here or is it transported from Mesa to New Mexico? It actually flies because it's a vertical, it, it's a vertical, it doesn't take off, uh, doesn't take off straight up. It takes off like a regular airplane. So it'll come in and out for maintenance and, and uh, it'll be here. You'll see it landing. It won't have the state, the, the spaceship attached. That's that's reserved for, for New Mexico. But um, when you see the, the large mothership, it, it definitely will, uh, will stick out. Now, let's say if somebody wants to get a ticket, can you kind of give us the brief breakdown of how much that ticket costs if we do want to go to outer space? I think the list price today is somewhere between four and six hundred thousand dollars for uh, for a trip to space. I think the long term goal for Virgin Galactic is, as they have more and more of uh, of these launches and more of these spaceships available, they'll be able to do it more often. And as they're able to do it more often, hopefully that price comes down. And maybe one day uh, you'll be able to take your savings and and uh, take a take a ten minute uh, flight to space. <laughs>